Hey everyone, welcome to the new Rubber Bandits 1.7 scoring big update. Plenty of new features, some new weapons, some new stages, and plenty of surprises to keep the fun going. First new feature you'll notice is the voice chat they've added. Now you can opt out straight away at the beginning. If you go into options, you'll notice scroll down voice chat. Here you can turn it on or off. Uh, there is also a master volume control here. And once other players have joined just below here, there will be a separate volume control for each player in case you wish to mute somebody or at least reduce their volume. So let's get into the game and look at some of the features. The first new modifier senses out some of the violence. So you will get blurring each time a violent act is performed. <laughs> I find this one a little funny. As you can see, every time anything happens, they will blur it out. It's certainly going to get interesting and add to the confusion when there's more players involved. The next modifier is the freeze clock. Now if you look down the bottom corner here, that is the freeze clock. And once the timer fills up, every bandit on the screen will suddenly freeze. This one's certainly going to be interesting depending on which map you're playing and what you happen to be holding when you freeze. It certainly could prove interesting when they're playing bombs. Oh. I like my stop effect, so I think this will be one of my favourites. That brings us to some new weapons, as you can see that little bow there, that's the plunger bow. A little bit more aiming is required to use that than the old shooting weapon. That certainly looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. And with a bit of practice, as you can see here, you can look fairly accurate with it. Next weapon, and I really like the look of this one, is the Extendo Punch. Something out of an old style cartoon, but great fun for sure. This is chance to pick it up then. Two new levels have been added, this one's called Toasty Tide. A lava filled nightmare with plenty of surprises. You need to wait until the tide goes out to access the areas. And the high stage the catch is hidden in these catch machines around the, the stage. And you can see the exit door is actually under the lava, so you can't leave until the tide goes out. get out while the lava is gone. Otherwise I have it.
There's been some changes to the scoring system as well. There's a lot more points available per level. That's capped at 10, but it certainly makes for some faster games. I wasn't lucky enough to access the other new map, but it's the blazing boat here, so some action on a pirate ship. Also looks like a lot of fun. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the game.